where do you think you should be looking in terms of which asset class is going to lead us into a new market? It's very tricky to say at this point. Um, I think, broadly speaking, equities and credit are starting to offer reasonable value from here. Um, but I think the, 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 com the statement I think we can make with a bit more confidence, actually, uh, is that uh, the prospects for active management from here uh, are better. Volatility uh, is not all bad. Uh, long-term minded investors should welcome it. It prevent, presents uh, long-term buying opportunities. Um, and if you're willing to um, do deep fundamental research, uh, take a long-term view uh, into, into companies, and then this presents opportunities really for that. Um, and I think going forward, there's, there's much better prospects for, for active management in that sense uh, compared to the last 10 years or so, which has been a very narrow um, environment driven by the, the, the very loose monetary low rate conditions um, and low inflation. Oil and gas was an under-owned sector for lots of very good reasons, um, uh, you know, 18, 24 months ago. Um, it, it's had a remarkable rebound for all the reasons that we understand. But we seem to be at a, a, a strange inflection point now for the energy markets while they're looking on the one hand at the potential for recession. We do have this tightness of supply for Europe and other marketplaces. Um, what's your view on this sector um, specifically and any companies within it? Um, earnings are clearly um, much higher at this point uh, off the back of higher commodity prices. Cash flows are improving. Um, they've generally come with a low base. Valuations in that area are still relatively cheap compared to other parts of markets. Uh, I think more broadly speaking, uh, if you look at the opportunities across different broad styles in equity markets, uh, energy, commodities and the like are better represented on the value side of things. Uh, and I do think there's a much better opportunity for value style investments over the course of the, the coming years or so. It's been a it's been a horrible 10 years or so uh, with the macro environment really driving uh, huge outperformance and, and the narrow market I alluded to before in terms of tech and growth outperforming. Uh, I think this more volatile environment is much more better for uh, value oriented strategies. Uh, and many of those areas are um, looking very attractive at this point. Sometimes that can mean uh, taking on more cyclicality risk, more commodity like risk as you get with uh, the energy and uh, commodity sectors that you're mentioning there. But it doesn't necessarily have to mean that. It just means uh, investing in undervalued opportunities where uh, expectations are um, uh, much less ambitious uh, than in other parts of markets.